Hey guys, we are back some more San Jose Sharks franchise mode, and we are in the playoffs against the Calgary Flames. Year number nine, round one. Let's check out the Calgary Flames real quick, and then we'll get right into it. We'll turn on the injuries and such as well. I will not forget to do that this time. Okay, first line. Ugh, yikes. <laughs> Earl Safias, Sean Monahan, and Johnny Goudreau. So, uh, pretty good first line. Sniper, two-way forward, playmaker combination. Yikes, that's good. Second line is, is also good. Kachuk, Bennett, and Slepeshev. <laughs> 87, 85, 83. I'd say that's uh, pretty much equivalent with our second line. Their first line slightly beats out ours based on overall, but I think it'll be a very competitive uh, top six game. Uh, top six series, I should say. And then uh, third line, Klimchuk, Frederick Gutierrez, and Jimmy Gorges, or Georges. So, not the greatest third line we've ever seen. Ours is better, for sure. And then the fourth line is actually pretty much on par with ours. Thomas Tatar, Nick Shore, and Raymond Cavallo. So, only place we really beat them is the third line. Everywhere else, we're pretty much tied. They're, they slightly beat us at the first line, but again, I think it'll be a very competitive series in terms of forwards. And then defensively, Hamilton and Truba, 88s. So they're almost on par with our top two defensemen, but then uh, we really beat them in the top four and top six positions. This is Martinez, 82. Valley Mackey, 81. And then Stetcher and Clog. 79s, whereas we have like 384s and 85 and, or no, 284s and 85 and a 79, I believe, in, uh, what's his name? Barahowski. And then goaltenders, okay, we really beat them here. UC Saros and Emmanuel Deschamps-Plain. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if I got that right. Probably not. But, uh, yeah, Yusuf Saros, one of our old goaltenders, is the starter for the Calgary Flames. So we definitely beat them there. And then we beat them on defense. We beat them on the third line. So this should be a pretty good series. I, I could honestly see it going either way, but hopefully it goes our way. And let's not forget... Come on, game. <laughs> let's not forget to turn off uh, auto-rotate goalies and turn on injuries this time. There you go. That is all done. And let's finally get into year number nine playoffs. Round one against the Calgary Flames. Let's just make sure that Mahler is in. And then we'll start things up here. Yes, indeed he is. That looks good. Let's go. <laughs> this is game number one. In Calgary, they have the slightly better record, very similar record to us, 45, 33, and 4. And we are 44, 33, and 5. So that's very interesting. So, game number one. Let's go. First period. Yeah, nice. Charlie McAvoy on Saros. Not going to get too excited. We've been disappointed in the first round multiple times before, even when we're up three games to one or two or whatever. Second period. Nothing doing. Okay, okay. We're definitely getting those shots on there. 24 shots on net. And third period. Let's go. Nice, Adam Lowry. Okay. Again, not getting too excited. This is only round number one. This is only game number one. But Adam Lowry once again on the UC Saros. Nice. And uh, there's Georges. Or Gorges. Again, however you want to say it. 3-1 uh, game. Five minutes remaining in the third. Can the San Jose hold on? For the win. Yes, we can. Very nicely done, boys. Uh, let's check out the three stars. Should be Lowry. Yep, Lowry with two goals. Mahler with 23 saves. And Koliakovo with two assists and three hits. Nice. All right. Game number two. Going to Calgary once again. See if we can keep up this momentum of getting at least three goals a game and holding them to one. <laughs> that would be nice. All right, first period. Uh, okay, okay. I'll take that for right now. Wiseman scoring for us and Matthew Kachuk for them on Mahler. So second period, here we go. 
Uh, Johnny Goudreau, not who I want to see on the scoreboard, but Darren McLeod gets one for us, so we're within one still. But we are behind by one with less than five shots as well than the Calgary Flames. So if we can pick it up a little notch there, San Jose, that'd be great. Ten minutes remaining. Somebody. Power play. Somebody. There we go, Nick Ritchie. Finally, we score on the power play. It feels like it feels like we never score on the power play in the playoffs. And here we are in game number two. Nick Ritchie with the power play goal going into overtime. Who is it going to be, boys? I'm hoping it's the San Jose Sharks. Let's go. Power play. Can we convert again? No, we cannot, of course. Uh, overtime. Come on. Uh, yeah, baby. Drew Doughty, the trade deadline acquisition scores on Saros, and we are up to nothing in the series. Not going to get too excited once again, as uh, as I have mentioned, we have been disappointed in the past, and uh, here, okay, all right, not the biggest injury, but still a pretty big injury for the San Jose Sharks, especially. Clayton Keller has been injured with an abdominal strain. <laughs> His estimated return is April 23rd, so again, not the biggest injury. He is going to return pretty soon, I believe. Uh, he should be back before round two, but we're, that's a big, still a big void to fill. Uh, you know what? Perfect opportunity to get Xavier Howes in here. He, of course, is not going to be playing on the power play or uh, really anywhere else besides four on uh, five on five. So we'll get, uh, hmm, let's see, maybe Raquel. Yeah, I mean, he's been solid for us in the past. Let's see, what did uh, what did Shen do last playoffs? Uh, not much. You know, we'll give Wiseman the chance on the second line. I think he uh, he wants to prove himself here. And uh, Lowry had a good game. You know, I'll leave the fourth line the way it is. I'll leave Howes on the second line with Raquel and Shen. Just to see if we could get something going with the, with the third line there. And uh, we will get Howes off the power play. We will put... Uh, let's, mm, we'll go Wiseman. I want to give him a shot. And, uh, no, we're not, not Xavier Howes on the four-man either. We'll go Raquel here so he can take face-offs. Penalty kill, yep, that's good, that's good. Uh, don't want Xavier Howes there. We got Kateria, Richie, Raquel, McLeod, Koliakovo. Uh, we'll go... What do I want to do? We'll go Wiseman once again. And then three on three. McLeod, Koliakov, McAvoy, Raquel, Blank, Hennepin, Couturier, Richie, Doughty. We'll go Wiseman once again. There you go. Okay, so that should be it. Uh, no, I don't quite want Xavier Howes on the extra attacker. We'll get... Uh, we will get... Ricard Raquel right there. Uh, shootout does not matter in the playoffs. And, uh, okay. There you go. We're going to be without Clayton Keller for... When is the 23rd? I believe that's the end of round one. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So we won't be without... Or uh, we'll be without a uh, healthy Clayton Keller for the rest of the first round. So we got to make sure that we... Really take care of these Calgary Flames quickly. And uh, Kirk Koliakovo stepped up so far. Four assists in two games played. Very nicely done. Game number three. First game on home ice. Please don't lose this one, San Jose. It's very important. First period. All right, I'll take it. 16 shots as well. Very nice. I will definitely take it. Second period. Ah, Matthew Kachuk on Mahler. They have 12 shots. We have 29. Come on, guys. Seriously. Get it done. Third period. Come on. Come on, San Jose. I know you got the scoring power. Ah, oh, Sean Monahan. Yikes. All right, there you go, Couturier. Would have liked to see that earlier, but better late than never. Oh, man, five on three. What are you idiots doing? Uh, come on. Last minute hero. Do we have a last minute hero in San Jose? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, two to one. Not the worst situation in the world, but uh, once you lose on home ice, it is uh, 
Not a good omen, so we got we have got to win the next home game. <sighs> Alright. Big guns, I need you to step up. Cole Akvo, Richie, McLeod. This is this is your guys' year. First period. Uh Earl Sophias for Calgary. They're out shooting us 10 to 8. Second period. Yikes, Slepeshev on Mahler. Come on, guys. Seriously. Third period. What's gonna happen? I do not know, but I hope that uh, the San Jose Sharks can get something going here because uh, this I'm not liking this pattern. It's the same pattern that we had in the regular season, I'm telling you. Win-win, loss-loss. I hope this is not a loss, but it's looking like it. Yep, we, uh, we have been shut out by the Calgary Flames. So the loss of Clayton Keller definitely did not help. Yikes. Okay. It's 2-2. Two to two. <laughs> Wait, is every series 2-2 two to two right now? Come on, show me the... <laughs> Can you show me the Western Conference game? Can you show me the Western... Oh, we're not frozen, are we? Alright, good, good, good. <laughs> but uh, I saw that... I think I think every series is 2-2. Two to two. Can you please switch? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll check it out... Uh, Check it out on playoff tree. Yeah, every series is two to two right now. Okay, so I, mean, uh, uh, I would prefer that our series be the only one that's not two to two right now. But that's uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> this is I don't think I've ever seen that in this game. So that's uh, it's pretty funny. It didn't last for long, obviously. Some teams have already played a game. I might do some line changes here, considering we've only scored one goal in the last 120 minutes. So, yeah, I'm definitely doing a line change. What's Wiseman done? Three points so far. Couturier, he has one goal. Johnson, one assist. Shen, nothing. Raquel, nothing. Howes, nothing. That's expected. Lowry, two goals. He had those in that in game number one, I believe. Deneau, one assist. Natushkin, nothing. Uh, we already checked Wiseman. Richie, three. Three for McLeod. And then four for Kirk Koliakvo. Need him to step up, though, in these next few games. Let's see the defense. Nothing for Hannafin. One goal for McAvoy. Nothing for Vernarski. Two for Doughty. Nothing for Barahowski. And nothing for Plus. So... I'm going to try something here. I'm going to put Noah Hannafin with Vernarski, and I'm going to put Doughty with McAvoy. Just off a hunch. I, I want to get uh, I want to get these guys going. And let's see. Let's see. I don't exactly want to break up that first line. They've been doing the best out of anyone in this series. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put Couturier on the third line. So Raquel with Wiseman and Johnson. And then I will put Lowry on the third line. Howes down here with Deno and Nichushkin since uh, they're not really doing anything anyway. Yeah, okay. Those are the changes I wanted to make. Uh, is there any other thing? Is there any other changes I want to make? Like, is, or, is there a power play or penalty kill struggling? I know we scored that one goal, power play goal by Nick Ritchie, but we need to score more than one power play goal. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we at? We're at two goals per game, but we're also at two goals against per game, so that's good. Power play, yeah, only 8.3. I would love if we were up here around uh, Calgary, who apparently scored four power play goals. That's not good, so our, our penalty kill is probably hurting a little bit. Yeah, 69.2. Okay, <laughs> let's change up the penalty kill a little bit then as well. Because uh, that is definitely not good. I don't understand. Like our our special teams just seemingly collapse in the in the playoffs. I don't understand. All right, so the penalty kill is bad in particular. I'm gonna put Kateri up here with Johnson, and then uh, we'll we'll go Kateri Shen. Is McLeod any good on the penalty kill? I mean, he's got a 90 defensive awareness. I can't take that off. Johnson, I'll take Johnson off just because we need to change something up. Uh, and then we got Couturier, we got, uh, maybe I'll go Richie. He's good. He's a physical presence there. And I'm pretty sure Johnson isn't. If we take a look at, uh, yeah, no, if we take a look at his physical categories, see, it's only 
down there in the bottom right corner is only two and a half stars. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with Nick Ritchie. He's got a five star physical category, so hopefully that'll change something up there. And yeah, we'll switch these guys around because we gotta get something going. And there's not much I can do on the power play, unfortunately. I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. I'm gonna hope the changes on the penalty kill work out for the best. And uh, we got to have a huge game here, boys. Got to have a huge game. Don't know why I went into the calendar. We got to have an absolutely huge game here. We got to go up 3-2. But then again, we all know going up 3-2 doesn't matter. Especially in this game. All right. First period. All right. Nothing doing. So maybe our penalty kill is helping us out a little bit there. If we took any penalties. Let's, uh, let's actually see. Did we take any penalties? Yes, we did. We took a double minor by Noah Hannafin and a minor by Darren McLeod. So our best players... Uh, some of our best players not helping us out there too much, but it's a good thing we changed our penalty kill around there. Second period, nice, Raquel and Richie on Saros. Okay, not going to get too excited once again, because after all, the Edmonton Oilers, I mean, the Edmonton Oilers are a completely different uh, animal because of the McDavid line, but I think uh, we, you know, we can't celebrate yet because the Calgary Flames, they have, yeah, I mean, Morgan Klipchak, they have a... Very similar roster to ours, besides the goaltending, and besides the defensive depth. So, but four wise, it's very similar. So they can still come back from a three-two. So, all right, game number six on home ice, and Clayton Keller is available, but is he completely available? I don't believe so. What's Xavier Howe's done? <laughs> he has two fights. Uh, do I want to play Keller? Yes, yes, I do. I definitely do. Maybe I will give him third line time just for right now, just so he can, you know, heal up a little bit. And also because I think that second line has been working pretty well, hasn't it? Maybe not, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll just go with it. Uh, yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave him off the power play for right now. I want to make sure that Keller heals completely. So we'll just give him limited time. Coming back from injury. He doesn't need to push it too hard. Uh, okay. Here we go. First period. All right. Nice. Noah Hannafin. So those uh, those changes on defense paid off. Second period. Nothing doing. Okay. I, I will definitely take it. I will definitely take it. We can start getting a little bit excited here, boys. But as we know, we only have a one goal lead. Anything can happen in the third period in the playoffs. Come on, boys. Put a power play goal in or something. Kill off the penalty. Very nice. All right. We're getting close. Come on, Mahler. Shut the door. Shut the door. Yeah. Morgan Wiseman and Clayton Keller coming back from injury. Pretty much seals the deal. Thank God. Thank God. We did it, boys. We finally made it past round, round one. Yay. <laughs> Not too much to celebrate, though. We still got three more rounds to go. Frederick Mahler with 28 saves. MVP. Uh, Noah Hannafin with a goal and an assist. And Kirk Koliakwo with two assists. So, Koliakwo has a lot of assists in the playoffs. Does he even have a goal? I don't think he has a goal. Yeah, no, he has eight assists. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely turning into a passing machine here in San Jose. Let's check out the stats. All right, player stats, let's see. So obviously, Kirk Kolakvo with eight assists, he stepped up massively in this series. Nick Ritchie with four points, Wiseman with four points, he had a clutch goal. Uh, McLeod with four, Hannafin with three, Lowry with two, Keller with two in three games, I might add. Uh, Dowdy with two, Couturier with two, Johnson with two, Raquel with one, McAvoy with one, Shen with one, da uh, Deneau with one, and then uh, Howes, Bernarski, Plus, and Barahowski, and Nachushkin all was nothing, but we got a massive series out of Kirk Holakovo, and hopefully out of our goaltender, yes, in Frederick Mahler. 946 save percentage. I think we finally, we finally have a good goaltender. We finally have a good goaltender after, you, you know who, after New Jersey. <laughs> this is 946 save percentage in the playoffs. He, Frederick Mahler might be our best goaltender of all time on, on this channel. If he can keep this up for the rest of the playoffs, definitely. I mean, I thought Jonas Corpusala was gonna be the was gonna be the GOAT. 
But I don't know. Frederick Mahler might be the new goat uh, goaltender of uh, of this channel. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. See what we have in round number two. It will be Vegas. So there you go. <laughs> we are finally in round number two, and uh, Clayton Keller is fully back. But should we stick with these lines? No, nah, no, no, no. Gotta have Keller on the second line. But I will definitely stick with these defensive pairs for right now. And yeah, uh, how's the power play doing with Wiseman on there? It's four points. But no, we need Keller on there. Definitely a good puck mover, so. Uh, yeah. Yep, that all looks good. And I like... I like Richie on the penalty kill. I don't know why I didn't use Richie on the penalty kill before. <laughs> He's a very nice presence there. So, with that, second round of the playoffs are Nashville versus Colorado, Florida versus Montreal, Carolina versus Columbus, and your San Jose Sharks versus the Vegas Golden Knights. So, I'll see you guys in the next one, and let's keep the. Uh, Keep it rolling, San Jose. Let's go.